Welcome back to the second video for the third Scratch Junior Coding Challenge. In the first video, I showed you how to create a new sprite. And in this case, we created a ladder. So now, what I'd like to do is to create a scene where something is happening. And I want to explain it by using movement and sprites. So I'm not actually going to have any uh, speaking or any talking in this, in this challenge or in this video. So the f basically the scene I would like to set is that there is a young child who's stuck in a tree and someone is going to come along and help the child out. So obviously I need to add some new sprites here. I need a tree. So I'm gonna, going to click on to my sprites. I'm going to find a tree and I think this one will work great. And then I'm gonna go up to the top and click on the check mark to add it. Now that tree's fine, but I need the tree to be a little bit larger. So if I come down to my purple blocks, and I'm going to bring down this block right here. Notice it's showing something from getting smaller to larger. Now that I have it out, if I just click on it, so I just press on the puzzle piece down here at the bottom, it's going to make my tree larger. I think I want my tree even a little bit larger than that. I want it to be a nice, good sized tree. Okay, so there it is. I don't need this block anymore, so I'm going to get rid of it. I just wanted my tree nice and large. I've also decided I want a young child in the tree. So I'm going to come up here, I'm gonna click again on my plus sign to add a new sprite. I'm gonna go down and I'm going to use actually uh, the baby, or it's Thomas. So I've chosen Thomas. Thomas is a pretty good size. In fact, I think Thomas might be better if he was a little bit smaller. So I'm going to use that same strategy. So this time I'm going to bring down the puzzle piece that shows um, the person getting smaller and I'm on Thomas so I just press on the puzzle piece the block and it's gonna make Thomas a little bit smaller because I, I want Thomas to be a little kid I don't know why he's up a tree you really shouldn't be there it's not safe and then we're going to have someone who's going to come along and save or rescue Thomas so I'm gonna add another sprite this one's going to be a person I'm gonna use this person's sprites called child and here we go so is that about the right height? In fact, I think that is just a little bit too big. So I'm going to do the same thing, bring down my puzzle piece. So I get the sizes where I want them to be. So remember in this situation, I've got a tree. In my tree is my basically baby that's stuck, it's Thomas. I've got a ladder and I've got a person. So normally if this was happening in a story, someone would be telling you the story. Well, I might get to that in a future coding video, in this case, all I'm trying to plan out is where I need them to move. So what I would like to happen is I would like um, this person to go and get the ladder. So the first thing I need to do, see the ladder's over here a little bit more, is I need my person to walk over to the ladder. So make sure I'm on the child, right? Because here's my child, here's my child down here, perfect. And when I click the green flag, because that's going to start the code, I want my person to walk, blue motion, over to the left. I'm guessing about three, but I'm not sure. I'm going to run my code up here and let's see if, if that's the right amount. Nah, you know what, I think one more would be better. Four I think would be better. So I'm gonna click, I'm gonna reset up here on with the, uh, the arrow, try the green flag again. Oh, you know what, I'm gonna make it five. I think you'll see why afterwards. Let's run it one more time, perfect. Now that child is right on the ladder. So I'm gonna set it all back up from the beginning. Here's where it gets tricky. Once the child runs into the ladder, I want the ladder, I want it to be like the child has picked up the ladder and is carrying the ladder over to the tree. So I gotta think about how can I start this? I've already hit the green flag. My first sprite here is moving. It's gonna move across. So the one I'm going to use is when one sprite collides with another. We used it in the last video. So when my child runs into another sprite, in this case, it's going to be the ladder. I want them all to move across to be underneath the baby. I'm guessing, so once they collide, I want them, in this case, the child to move left. Probably, I'm gonna say seven. I don't know if that's right or not. Let's see. That's, oof, that's too far, that didn't work out now, did it? So I've run into a problem, okay? So when my child moves across the stage, they hit the ladder. 
When they hit the ladder, that makes him move forward seven, but then he hits another sprite and that makes him move seven again and come all the way back over here. I'm gonna show you, watch this. Hit it and then speeds up again. So that's actually a problem for me. So that means this, this block isn't going to work. So I'm gonna get rid of it. What I ask, I can't use one sprite banging into another sprite or colliding because there's too many sprites on my page. So I'm going to have to use broadcasting like we did in the last video. So I come back to my command blocks. I'm going to need, after he moves five, he's going to send out a message to say, I am done moving. Okay. So what that is going to do is now he says that I'm done moving to the left, but I want him to then continue moving. So he's going to send out an orange message to himself saying, I think seven was too far. Let's make it six this time. At, this, at the exact same time, I want the ladder to move with him. Six. And it's orange because, I'll explain in just one second, once I go back, back to my child, here's what I've done. When I press the green flag, he's going to move five. And then he's going to send out a message. He would normally just sort of stop and be done. But he's sending out a message that I'm done. When he gets that message that he's finished, he's gonna move another six and it's orange. That also means the ladder is going to get that same message and move six to the left. So let's run my code and see if that works. Green flag, and there they move together. Perfect, and they're right underneath the baby. Excellent. So see how now it looks like he's kind of carried it over. Well now, I actually want him to climb up the ladder. So now that they're done moving and they've stopped, right? I'm gonna run it again and they're underneath. I need him to know, I need all the other sprites to know that he's done moving. So this is where I add in another, I'm done moving, but it can't be orange, I've already used orange. I need a different color. So this time I'm going to use green. This is him saying, I'm done moving now. He's telling everybody, all the sprites. So when he gets the message to say he's done, he's now in a sense telling himself, I now want you to climb up the ladder. And I'm guessing that's going to be about three up, but I'm not sure. So let's try, let's see how this works out. Moves across, they move together. Oh, I put it under the ladder. Okay, no problem. Made a mistake, I forgot to check. I actually, I'm gonna send it all back. I want the child to move. See, I make mistakes too. That's okay. So green. And then up three, because it would be odd if the ladder just moved all by itself. I want it to make it look like he's climbing the ladder. Here we go. Cross. And he climbs up to the baby. Now, I don't really like where the baby is. I kind of want the baby to be over a little bit more. So after I reset it, I know I need the baby over a bit more. So I'm going to move the baby over here. Okay, let's try it again. Look at that. So now after the baby has been, after he reaches up, he's on top of the ladder. He's collecting the baby. I now want him and the baby to come down the ladder as though he's climbing down to safety. So once again, he's got to say, I'm done climbing up. So we put in one of these messages to let everybody know that he's finished. We'll make this one yellow. So now I want him and the baby to come down the ladder. So because we finished with the yellow broadcast, we have to start the next one. So I want him to come down. And he's going to come down three, which would make sense because he went up three. At the same time as the yellow message is telling him to start, I want Thomas to start. I want him to have a yellow message and I want him to come down three. Okay, so I think this is going to work, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna press my green flag and let's check it out. Excellent. So if you think about this, he's now climbed down the ladder. He's still holding Thomas. Now, the last thing I would probably have them do, at least for this, is I want them to move away from the ladder because it's probably not too safe to stay by the ladder that whole time. 
So I'm going to change it to purple because I don't think I've used purple. So that's telling him after he climbs down the ladder, he sends out a message to all the sprites, I'm stopping, right? And now I want the baby, make it purple. I want the baby to move to the right. Let's say, how about six? And at the same time, I want the child to do the same thing. So it comes down, we need to make it purple this time. And I want the child to move to the right, six. So he and the baby will move together so they're away from the tree and everybody's safe. It looks really complicated right now. See the ladder, actually, it only comes across. It doesn't do anything else. It's going to stay there. The tree never moves. There's no code. Thomas is just going to come down and then over to the right. The sprite that does the most is the child. He's got to come across. He's, when he touches the ladder, he's got to come across more. He's got to go up. He's got to come down with the baby and then move to the right. But see how he did it all in pieces. Moves across, comes up the ladder. There we go. Now, normally there would be some writing. There would be maybe someone talking to the baby, asking for help. You know what? That'll be the next video. But for this one, what I want you to think about is can you put a number of sprites? I've got four different sprites on my page. Can you show part of a story or part of a scene without any words, without any recording, but actually show the scene just in movement to start? Try with three or four sprites. It doesn't have to be something stuck in a tree. That was just my idea. Come up with your own. And uh, next challenge, we will then put this all together where we have all of this movement showing a scene with some writing. Thanks a lot. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, slightly long challenge.